Hi, I'm Ed. Today we're going to make a Navarin d'agneau or a French lamb stew for the spring. Here's the ingredients for our Navarin d'agneau, uh, the lamb stew. We're going to cook this, basically it's two major components. One is we're going to brown the lamb and we use a shoulder of lamb which is much pinker than the red uh, leg meat. We're going to brown that and then we're going to thicken it a little with some uh, flour and some sugar. And then we're going to put this with the stock in the oven to slowly braise for a couple hours. While that's cooking, we're going to cook the hard vegetables, turnips, pearl onions, carrots, potatoes, and we're going to like parboil them, just cook them through in some hot water. And then after the two hours, then we just combine everything in the one pot. All right, so we put our uh, lamb in the pot with our olive oil, and now we just uh, salt and pepper this, and cook it until it's slightly brown, and then we add the sugar first, and then we add the flour to thicken. So we've browned our lamb a bit, and it's released some of its juices. Now we can add sugar, a tablespoon of sugar, and three tablespoons of flour. This will serve to thicken this guy up a bit. Stir that all in. And now we can add our four cups of chicken stock. And then we just bang this whole thing in the oven for about two hours at 350. And while we're doing that, we can prep the veggies, pre-cook the veggies. I'm just gonna bring this back to a boil before I put it in the oven with the top on at 350. So we brought our lamb back to the boil and just before we put it in the oven, we're gonna add our herbs and our tomato paste. We're going to use three or four tablespoons. There's one, two, three. I like mine tomatoey, so I'm going to put four. Five cloves of garlic. I don't even smash them up. I just put them in whole. A bunch of fresh thyme and a bay leaf. And then cover on into the oven for two hours. So while our lamb is braising in the oven, we're going to pre-cook our veggies. I don't want to cook them in the lamb because then everything will get all mushy. So I'm going to cook the potatoes, the turnips, the, I'm going to boil these just for five or ten minutes each. You got to watch them, you know, do them in batches. I didn't, obviously I'm not going to cook the tomatoes and the frozen peas. And then finally the carrots. So just until they're mostly cooked, we want a little bit of, uh, of crispness, like on the carrots and, and the turnips if possible. And these guys we're going to have to peel after we boil them for a couple minutes. It's a little labor intensive, but obviously you can't have them with the skin on. But the skin will pop right off after we boil them for like two minutes. So we're cooking up our lovely spring veggies one at a time. You know, in a perfect world I would have gotten little tiny potatoes. That would be nice. And uh, I did test these with a knife and they are just about done. So like I said, I don't want to get them too mushy, so I'm going to take them out. Let them cool off, and then I'm going to put in my turnips, one, at a, one thing at a time, and then the carrots, and then uh, the onions at the end. Next up, my turnips. If you could find baby turnips, that would be really cool. Uh, I just chopped up one big one. And they seem to be, I can put a, a knife right into it. So these are pretty much done. I'm going to take these out now. You can see where we're heading now. We're getting a, a beautiful, like, cooked spring veggie, almost like a salad, like a mix going, which we're going to add to the stew right at the end, and then we finish it with some creme fraiche. So carrots have been in just about five minutes. Obviously, that's going to depend on the size of the carrots. You could use those baby carrots in the package that are pre-done. Perfect. The knife goes in. That means they're cooked, but still a little crunchy. And the last thing is our pearl onions, which we were just going to do for three to five minutes and then pop the skins off of those. Our pearl onions have been in just about five minutes, about four and a half minutes. Let's check them. Get a knife. Yeah, a knife goes in. So these are pretty much done. 
Now these are different because we've got to get the skins off of these. So I'm going to let them cool off completely separately. And when they're cool to the touch, we're just going to cut off the root end and squeeze the skin off. To finish off the pearl onions, we just cut off the little root end and squeeze them out into our spring veggie mix. Very simple. Just takes a couple minutes. This is where the real magic happens. We've been braising our lamb for two hours, our spring lamb or lamb shoulder. Now we're going to add the spring vegetables and our creme fraiche. Took it off the heat and I pulled out our twigs of thyme and our bay leaf. So all we're going to do is dump in all of our veggies. Stir this all together. Now this is the reason we pre-cook the veggies. You see now they are maintaining their beautiful color. And oops, there's another twig of thyme. Just pull that out. Now the creme fraiche, if you don't have creme fraiche, you could use sour cream. I'm gonna start with half a cup. So two, this is two quarter cups here. You can do this to taste. If you like it a little bit less creamy, you can add less. If you like it more, you could just put all of it in. I think I'm going to end up putting it all in. Just stir it all together. And I'm just going to keep this in a warm oven, not cooking anymore. Just like a 200 degree oven until our guests are ready to sit down. As a matter of fact, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to put in the, all the creme fraiche because I have no other use for it. So I'm ending up with about a cup and a half. Like I said, you can do that to taste. I'm actually going to leave it in there with the top off. I'm going to let the flavors concentrate a little bit. So, there we have it. Now all we have to do is serve it up. To serve our Neverand Daniel, all we do is put it into a shallow bowl and then finish it with some salt. This is a good time to add salt and pepper. I use sea salt and then some of the, uh, the remaining fresh thyme. There you go. Never end on yo. Enjoy.